Hello, viewers, learners, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to PMS Edubex Toxin Training. 30 days of challenges. Be patient. Consume your valuable time with PMS Edubex Toxin Training. Day 5. Today, I'm going to teach you about do formation of verb. Present tense, do, does. Past tense, did. So, I'm going to explain a lot quickly with different slides, different examples. So, dear viewers and learners, if you are watching the first time, subscribe, hit all button for further and future notification. Give a positive thumb and give positive command related to the topic and the subject. Avoid unnecessary command. Don't waste your time and waste my time. Give command, positive or negative, related to topics. I'm ready to accept and I'm ready to improve. So dear viewers and learners, let's learn the new formation of work. One by one, after one, after one. Now, I do work like etc. Present simple. I'm going to teach you in the four methods of tense. Basically, tense, there are 12 methods. Whereas, I'm going to teach you from this two formation of verb, the four. One is present, past, past participle, and future. So let's see one by one. Now I'm, I would like to teach you the very shortcut method. For example, first I walk. The same sentence, the same related to that. He walks. Now, the two formation often is it, the work is divided in two parts. One is helping work, another one is main work. The previous video I taught you about the varieties of and methods of verbs. Helping work and main work, regular verbs, irregular verbs. If you didn't watch, kindly go and watch the previous video and you can watch this video. So then you can understand exactly what is going to happen. Now, walk, we can divide do plus walk. Again, the verbs end with yes. Once you find the verb ends with yes, automatically you frame the answer is does plus walk. And again, the same, the fast, the past tense is like, you know, ed. When the verb ends with ed, you assumed that it's regular verb. Now, when the verb ends with ed, automatically you frame the short formation as did plus walk. So, this is easy method to identify and to frame positive and negative sentence. I'm going to explain detail, don't worry. Okay, be patient and watch the video. The read, he likes, I work, etc. the present simple. Here, he likes, you can easily frame a sentence like it divides does plus like and read it's automatically you can frame like do plus read you got it this is a simple method and there are few exceptions we need to use and we need to add with the verb when the verb ends with vowels like o we need to add ES. Example, the verb go. So you need to add plus 
ES goes. Where in third person singular, answer me the third person singular of he, she, it. Good. So this is the way we can frame a sentence. You got it? Now, let's see one by one. I, we, you, they, read, like, work, live, watch, do, have. Now, the third person singular, he, she, it, reads, likes, works, lives, watches, and does. Here, when the verb ended with ch, we need to add es to the verb. You got it? I'll explain later on. Remember, he works, she lives, it remains, etc. So, he works, she lives, it rains, verb plus yes. Where do you use we here? Third person singular as we taught you. He, she, it. Verb plus yes. Clear? I work in a shop. My brother works in a bank. So here, not my brother work. Why? Because my brother, it's talking about third person, singular, he. I mean, his brother or my brother. So, verb plus yes. Next one. Remember, he works, she lives, it rains, etc. Here, third person singular, he, she, it. Already I taught you, when the third person comes in sentence, we need to add verb plus yes. You got it? Okay, now, I work in a shop, my brother works in a bank. Not my brother work. I have taught you for you for example, the third person singular we have learned it about I, you, we, they. We need to write only verb, the main verb. So here, I work. So here, you can identify I, we supposed to use verb. The do formation of verb, we have to use here. So I work in a shop. My brother works in a bank. Here, my brother, it denotes third person singular. So we need to add verb plus yes. Linda lives in London. Her parents live in Scotland. Easily you can identify. Linda, third person singular. And her parents, it's plural verb. When the plural verb comes, we need to act here as only the main verb, do. It rains a lot in winter. So here we can also identify rains. It's a third person singular, so we need to add verb plus yes. I have, he, she, it has. So the next video, I'm going to teach you about half formation of verb. Here I'm going to give you the short note for half formation. I, you, we, they, we will have half formation. The same for third person singular, he, she, it, we supposed to use has. Got it? Good. Now, John has a shower every day. Here are some spellings and for adding yes, yes, and 
as such. So let's see. The first, after the verb or the verb end with, you know, yes, we need to add as such ch. So we need to add some certain rules. Let's see one by one. Pass. The word end with s here passes. We need to add yes. Next, finish. A word end with sh. Here, when the word end with sh, we need to add yes. Watch. The word end with ch. So we need to add yes. Got it? So let's see. see one after one after, right? The same rule here, it's going to apply the word or the verb end with Y. We need to add I, E, S. Again, the verb or word end with vowels, we need to add E, S. I'm going to teach you elaborately. Why? I, E, S, we need to add. Study, studies. Try, twice. Also, do, does, Go goes. I've already have given a shortcut method. We use the present symbol for things that that are true in general, or for things that happened sometimes or all the time. Be patient and listen. I like big cities. The shop open at nine o'clock and close at five thirty. Tom works very hard. He starts at 7.30 and finishes. Here, you can easily identify third person singular plus yes, do, or the verb with yes. And here, third person singular again starts. And here you could see that the word or the verb ends with sh. So we need to add yes. Very clear. And the earth goes around the sun. Here, the verbal word end, and we need to add yes. Got it? Next year, we do a lot of different things in our free time. I already have explained for I, you, we, they. We need to write do formation. Clear? Right. The next one, it cost a lot of money to stay at luxury hotels. Here, cost. Third person singular, we need to use here. And, you know, we are going to see another rules here. Always, never, often, sometimes, usually, and with the present tense. So, let's see, one by one. So the next rule is always, never, often, sometimes, usually, plus simple present tense. She always arrives at work early. N not, she always arrives. I mean here, we need to add before the verb always. We can use. Next one, I usually go to work by car, but sometimes I walk. So here we use before verb usually. And not I go usually. So these are our of time. The next video, the future video, definitely I'll teach you with elaborately. Be patient and watch the video. Julia never eats breakfast. Here, we can find verb before never we can use. So, the rule is always, never, often, sometimes, usually, plus present, simple. So, where to use these key words? Make sure to use while you speak. Tom lives near us. We often see him. Here, you can easily identify the verb see. Tom lives here, verb plus yes, near us. Okay, so this is a method. Be patient and 
learn to speak 40 days of challenges. Next, I'm going to elaborate with positive sentence and negative sentence. Next, I'm going to elaborate with positive question, negative question. Be patient and spend time and watch my video. Next, I'm going to teach you positive sentence and negative sentence. I'm going to teach you again the short formation. Here, I work. He works. Now, I told you from the beginning, do plus work. And here, does plus work. If it is this case of positive sentence, then just imagine what would be the negative sentence. Let's see one by one. Here, work is a verb we divide do plus work. It's a positive. If it is negative, do plus not plus the main verb work. So, the contradiction is going to be don't. Clear? The next works. Does plus work. It's a positive. Then just imagine about the negative. Does plus not plus work. So, automatically you will learn the positive and negative to do formation of sentences. Again, I'm going to elaborate one by one. I don't. He doesn't. And I, you, we, they, he, she, it. These all sort of subject we use the past tense did. Clear? Let's see one by one. The present simple negatives is don't, doesn't, plus verb. Clear? So I'm going to teach about the positive and the negative. I we, you, they, work, like, do, have. So if it is positive, then I taught you about the shortcut method. Here, I, we, you, they, do, plus, not. Here, the contraction. The previous videos have given detail about the contraction. So if you didn't watch, Please watch and come back and watch this video too. So don't, don't. Okay. Plus work, work or like. So I'll give you a few shortcut buttons using this. I like ice cream. He, female answer, he, third person singular, verb plus yes. So, likes ice cream. So here, how do you divide do plus like and does plus like? So this is the positive method. Now, negative methods, again, I wish to uh, guide you. Like, do plus not plus like. If it is likes, does plus not plus the verb 
like. Very clear? I hope you grasped, you understood? Good. The next, he, she, it. Verb plus yes, works, likes, does, has. And how come it's negative? Does plus not, doesn't. Plus verb of do and have. Clear? So I'm going to give you more examples. Be patient and watch my video. Okay? The patient is very important. It's a key of success of human being. So be patient. With the example, I'm going to explain. I drink coffee, but I don't drink tea. So here, you can identify the positive and negative. You drink tea, but she doesn't drink coffee. You can easily identify the positive and negative. You don't work very hard. It's ultimately negative sentence. We don't watch television very often. Ultimately, it's negative. The weather is usually nice. It doesn't rain every often. So here, positive and it's negative. Jerry and Linda don't know many people. Here, you can identify two subjects. When two subjects comes in a sentence, we need to add plural verb. If it is a single subject, singular verb. Plus, yes. Go through the rules a previous slide. Then you can understand the rules. Right? Yeah. Remember, I, we, you, they, don't. I don't like. Football. Okay, I don't like football. He, she, it doesn't. He doesn't like football. Simple. Now, I don't like Fred and Fred doesn't like me. It's very simple. Here, negative and here, negative. Why? Here, I and here, the third person singular, Fred. My car doesn't use much petrol. Not my car don't use because it's a third person singular. We need to use verb plus yes. And when the verbal sound of end with do, we need to add verb plus yes. Sometimes he is late, but it doesn't happen very often. It's easy to identify B formation of verb for he and for the third person singular, we use here negative formation does plus not doesn't. Got it? The next one, we use don't doesn't plus infinitive don't like doesn't speak doesn't do etc. So I'm going to teach you in the future video infinitive and gerund. So be patient and watch my video. I don't like washing the car. I don't do it very often. Sandra speaks Spanish, but she doesn't speak. Italian, not doesn't speak. Again, I wish to repeat. We use don't, doesn't plus infinitive don't like, doesn't speak, doesn't do, etc. Do you have any idea about doesn't do? Because I already educated and gave you does plus not, doesn't plus do, we use here as a main verb. This is supporting verb. So previous video, I taught you about the supporting plus main verb. I'm going to explain more about the examples.
bull doesn't do his job very well. Okay. So, here you can easily identify bull doesn't do his job very well. Here, it's a negative doesn't. Why? Because bull is a third person singular. Here, not bull doesn't his job. Understand? Next one. Bruno does, doesn't usually have breakfast. Here, it's a singular. She usually doesn't have breakfast. So here, you can easily identify does plus not doesn't. Again, do plus not don't. Plus verb. Got it? Next, I'm going to train you and teach you the positive questions and negative questions. Well, let's see one by one. I'm going to teach you or I'm going to train you the positive question or negative question how to frame in the do formation of verb. So I'm going to elaborate. Be patient again. Do you? The present simple questions. We use do, does in present simple questions. Let's see how. Already I taught you regarding this. I like. I like you. Or ice cream. So here. Like. Do plus like. When we wanted to frame a question, we, we noticed that it's a supporting verb and it's a main verb. The formation is supporting verb plus subject plus main verb. This is the formation. Do you want to explain again? Yes. I like you or ice cream, naturally, it's already taught you do plus like. So, assume that do is a supporting verb and like is a main verb. The formation, supporting verb plus subject plus main verb. Clear? Again, he likes ice cream. Here, likes verb plus yes. When the word ends with yes, automatically you frame the answer does plus the verb like. The formation of sentence supporting verb and main verb. When you ask question, you're supposed to the supporting verb does plus subject plus the main verb like. Got the formation? It's easy, simple method. I'm going to teach you through this chart. Let's see one by one. Past you. I, we, you, they, plus work. Usually any work, it's a regular or irregular verbs. Work, like, do, and have. So now negatives. Well, kicks. So kicks, do plus kick. If it is third person singular, again, does plus kick. So do plus kick, we use I, we, they, and you. Does plus kick, we use he, she, it. Got it? 
the same sentence I am going to frame you the negative formation. How? Like or kick. Do plus not plus the verb like. Again, do plus not plus kick. So it's a negative. Next, let's see about the does plus negative. Likes. Does plus not plus the verb of like. So contraction will be Doesn't. You clear? So I'm going to teach you through this chart. I, we, you, and they, and he, she, it. This is third person singular and it's a plural. And I only, it's denote the singular subject. Here, do we use only the word? The third person singular we use here works and likes. For I we use do, we we use have. Clear? I am going to explain through some of the examples more. So next, study the word order. Do does press subject plus infinitive. I'll teach in the next video about the infinitive and gerund. Now, we are going to see about the WH question with a question formation. Okay, let's see. You already, the previous video, I taught you about the WH questions. Okay, here, where, how often, what, and how much. Here, the Supporting verb, do, do, does, do, do, does, does. These are all supporting verbs. Clear? Next subjects, you, your friends, cry, your parents, you, this word and it. These are all supporting. Okay. And next one. The main verbs, work, live, play, live, wash, and me, and cost. Next, usually it's all adverbs, adverb place, an object, and the complement, right, and the object. This, these are all mixed with the sentence. I'll already have taught you about what is object, an indirect object, right? So, if you didn't watch the previous video, Kindly go and watch and come back to this video. Alright. So then, you know, you grasp what I am trying to teach you. Or how the way I train you. Right? Yeah. So here, where do you work in the evening? WH questions. Automatically. Okay. Now, I'll, I'll give you a small example. I work at office. Here, how do you frame the past one negative questions? I'll give you a short, short format. Work, it's a past you, so it divides do plus work. And if it is negative, don't, do plus not, we would say, do plus not plus the verb. Got it? I'm going to explain again here. Work or likes. The simple example. Work it divides do plus the main verb work. Again, likes the word ended with yes. Does plus the verb like. 
how do you frame a question? Do you work? Or do fish? So do you work? How? The formation is supporting verb plus subject plus the main verb. Question mark. I'll give you the chart and I'll explain you more. Here, likes does plus like. How do you ask a question now? Does he like ice cream? So, supporting verb and subject plus main verb. Question mark. You got it? Understand? Then, how do you frame the negative question formation? I'll give you a shortcut method again. Don't plus work does not or doesn't like. How do you frame a sentence? Don't you work at office? So here, again, it's a supporting verb, subject, plus main verb, plus question mark. Got it? Next one. Doesn't he like ice cream? Here, does, doesn't, supporting verb, plus subject, plus main verb, question mark. Understood? Good. Nice. So this is where be patient and learn one by one. I'm going to give you more examples. Alright? Yeah. Already I have explained question with always, usually, often. What is a double H question? Do, does, do. Here, the subject you, Christ, and you, the key words are always, often, usually, and the main word have, play, do. And objects are, and compliments, it's breakfast, and tennis at weekends. Clear? The next I'm going to do, again, we'll ask you, the WH questions format. What do you do? That means, what's your job? What do you do? I work in bank. It's an easy way to identify and it's an easy method to ask a question. Remember, do, it's always use I, we, you, they. Do they like music? Simple. It's an easy method to ask a question. Thus, it always comes to the third person singular, he, she, it. They ask you the question using the third person singular, using does. Does he like music? Easy way. This is the simple method. Follow, be patient, but. Consume your valuable time. I know, you are busy. Spend time. Then again, I'm going to explain about the short answers. If it is positive, we are going to say yes. I, we, you, they, do. And he, she, it, does. If it is negative, we are going to answer in short, no. I, we, you, they, don't. He, she, it, we are going to say, doesn't. Clear? So again, I'm going to educate you, I'm going to train you with different examples. Do, does, did. And don't, doesn't, didn't. Let's see one by one. Do you play tennis? So negative? No, I don't. Do your parents speak English? Yes, they do. Does George work hard? Yes, he does. Does your sister live in London? No, she doesn't. So dear viewers and learners, through this video you learned more about it, the positive sentence and negative sentence and how to ask Positive question and how to ask negative question. Okay, the next video I'm going to train you and teach you about did formation. So did usually I say it comes 
after all the subjects i you we they he she it so i'm going to train you in the past tense in the be what did the next video and i'm going to give you more examples dear viewers and learners i'm happy why i said happy because be patiently you are spending your valuable time spread this news to your viewers and learners ladies and gentlemen and supporters last few videos i requested all that spread this news club if you spread the news to the club i'm the one of the person one of the trainer one of the educator i'm happy and again i request you spread this news to the village where you live bms edutax gives the free accessible training spread even you can give a message you can even you can spread facebook or instagram anywhere but you have to collect the people and you have to insist the common community people to watch bms edutax talks and training don't spend any money and don't join any academy to learn english i'm here i'm a motivator i'm going to motivate you i'm going to train you so dear viewers and learners be patient and watch my video and spread the news to the global if you are watching the first time my channel subscribe hit all button and click below for the video file whenever you get free time go one by one and pause my video even and learn to speak english this is 40 days of challenges during 25 minutes to 30 minutes be healthy to watch my video take care of your personal health too because i love you all viewers and learners and ladies and gentlemen this is open invitation again it's for the globe and for indians those who are willing to join to give hands to the bms edutax give us a hand come with a good content if you are really the right speaker the right person contact www.bmsedusolutions.com you can have a contact contact me and come and join the venture of bms edutax talks and training let's get together and collect good information to the club for the community join join to bms edutax and talks and training it's an open invitation for all the speakers for the club for indians and for tamil nadu where i live i'm saju educator trainer camp counselor for educational counselors so the willingness to come forward to speak on the right podcast is pms edutax dear viewers and learners i'm seeking your help spread this news to the all the owners of company and industries even college team for what i want to grow my podcast wanted to grow i'm looking for the sponsors i'm willing to collaborate with the companies and industries and the college management spread this news and i'm ready to accept why because i want to grow and my channels wanted to grow i have good views on my channel and the good content in previous days you are going to watch be patient and watch